more my Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last part we did stuff, and in this part we're going to do more stuff. Isn't that wonderful? Also, we get 1-ups, because, you know, 1-ups, sometimes you just need to get a life. Or 5. Or 20. If you're Luigi, you need 20 lives. Make of that as you will. That Oh, oh my. <laughs> Um, in this part, we are going to go do stuff in somewhere, probably the engine room, or maybe the bedroom. Well, I'm thinking the bedroom. Ah. So, let's go to the bedroom and let's get some missions done. And how have you been? Me? I've been good. I have been doing stuff, which is, which doing stuff is fun. Grab this and um let's go to this galaxy right here. The melty molten galaxy. Alright, melty molten galaxy, the sinking lava spire. Named so because there's a lava spire and it might sink in the future. Man, this game looks beautiful. Seriously, for a 2008 Wii game, you cannot deny how amazing this game looks. Yes. Or you can, but you're lying to yourself and others, so don't do that. So let's go over this way. All kinds of stuff around here. There's a whole section back here that is just kind of like here. Because you know what? Sections of the planet are cool. So, happy 2015. You know, I will probably open in other videos in 2015 before this comes out. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I kind of just do stuff as stuff happens. Also, we kind of blew up that one, because you know what, it's a volcano. Sometimes, sometimes stuff is just a volcano, and that's just how it is. Also, I think you actually want 80 star with something that was... <laughs> um, okay. Let's cub your hunger pangs. <laughs> I had to look up the pangs. Uh... Uh, the U.S. education system. Making people look up at pens is a work, because they don't bring it up. Anyways, uh, we could go there, but, you know, I don't really like that, so it's everyone go over here. Man! Uh, this game looks- I'm sorry if- Seems like really random that I'm gushing about the graphics today. It's just like- I haven't got a chance to play Galaxy 1 in a couple of weeks. I haven't played a lot of Galaxy 2, and... I forgot how beautiful this game is. Darn, Galaxy 2 looks beautiful too, but... You know what? Galaxy 1... Uh, I kind of like how it has a lot of darker colors in it. Galaxy 2 has a lot more bright colors, it's like... But not dark and dreary as in the way that... Like... Like early FPSs were just brown, brown everywhere, but like there's a lot of contrast colors, like this dark rock color. I want to say gray, but it's not even really gray. It has kind of a shiny color. Like, it's really nice. Galaxy 2 didn't have that as much of that. I can say that with a lot of confidence because I just kind of finished a verse of it over at a different channel, which if I remember to, I will plug in the description. <laughs> However, knowing me, I will probably forget because you know what? Sometimes you forget stuff, and they just happen. You know, I'm going to talk about something real quick because I haven't got a chance to talk about it. And while we're sinking to the lava, it seems like as good of a time as any to talk about this. Which game do I like better, Galaxy One or Galaxy Two? Answer, Galaxy 1. 
Um, why? Well, first of all, nostalgia bias. Because I got this game first. <laughs> first, and it was basically my first 3D Mario game. But other, well, on top of that, it has, even though some of the levels are really linear, it still has a very explorative feel to it, which I like. And I think that's really nice. Also, I am dead if I can't come up here. <laughs> okay. Let's get up here. Okay. But this game is... The worlds in this game feel a lot more open-ended and have a lot more depth. In Galaxy 2, each galaxy at the most has three... has three stars. Six we have three stars, but I really don't. Three stars. In this game, it has... Most galaxies have six missions. Some have seven. And all the galaxies are really elaborated on, and feel like they're just really interconnected and have a lot of secrets in them. Like, some of the paths I took in this level were not the required path. <laughs> and you know what? Go out to go out of order. And that's what I love about this game so much. Galaxy 2 feels a lot more linear, a lot more streamlined, and I kind of like the more open feel of this game. Granted, this is not the most open-ended Mario game in terms of exploration, that honor goes to Super Mario Sunshine. But, you know, out of the two Galaxy, I feel like this is the better one. Because although I will admit Galaxy 2 had better missions, Galaxy 1 has better worlds. And I like the better worlds more than the better missions. Because honestly, if you ask me to name some galaxies from Galaxy 2, I could not name that many that were my favorite. Although I can name a lot of galaxies I love from this game. And a lot of ones I hate. <laughs> But I won't go into that. And also, we have a Luma. The Luma is creating a mission. What is this mission? KS Esto? KS Note Cap Galaxy. In the Snow Cap Galaxy, we get Star Bunnies in the Snow. Because, you know, everyone loves the Star Bunnies. I mean, don't you love the Star Bunnies? If you don't love the Star Bunnies, yeah, I uh, I don't hate the Star Bunnies as much as most people do. Uh, wait, is that it? Wait, hang on a second. Oh, that's awesome! I didn't know that! This game actually has somewhat realistic physics, where... where you, that's sweet. Check this out. Like, it goes further away, because it's trying to maintain forward momentum. That's neat! Anyways. Uh, right here, this mission, we have to collect star bodies. Why? Because star bodies. We only need another reason. Well, at least we get the star bunny music. Also, this level has something really neat where you can wipe the snow away with your cursor. Why don't other levels have this? This is such a cool mechanic. Alright. Alright, there's another switch around here somewhere. But yeah, you can actually brush the snow with your pointer, and this is such a cool mechanic. I wish more levels messed with this, because this is kind of this is a really cool mechanic. There's a switch right here. There's another switch somewhere. It's around here somewhere, I promise, guys. I right, got that one already. Where is the other switch? Oh, it's right here. There we go. Got a fire flower. What we do with the fire flower? Well, obviously, we melt snow. What else are we do with it? I have not done this. Oh, wow. But you know, Galaxy 2, better camera. 
<laughs> Galaxy 2 has better camera. That is something Galaxy 2 did better than Galaxy 1. Better camera. I, although, if we're on Galaxy 1 has probably only bought me because I just played Galaxy 2 recently. Alright, ooh, shell. Give me. Uh, you're right here. There we go. Uh, I only have 30 seconds left. Am I going to die on this mission after I keep saying its praises? Get you. And I'm not going to get the other guy, am I? Aww. I died. Cut! That's two stars for this video. And also because I have not done this in a while. Oh, observatory. That's right, that was on Green Luma mission. Cool. Yeah. You got a star! Star Vines in the Snow, Snow Cap Galaxy. Let's go do let's go do another mission. Uh let's get to the engine room. I should go finish off the kitchen somewhere. I don't have that many missions blocked on there. Well, we'll do a star in the engine room, and then I guess we will cut it off. That will probably take up the rest of the video's time, unless it's a really fast one. Which, knowing me, it isn't. Oh, well, let's see. Such a boring planet. Well, let's go to... Sea slot. Oh, what's my other option? Sea slime it is! <laughs> yeah, this sea slime mission isn't that fun. It's just swimming. Going after Guppy. Gotta go after Guppy. Because Guppy is a Guppy. Except he's not a Guppy, he's a giant shark. Now, because I am. Now. <laughs> I really shouldn't do this. I remember my old project, I did a little gag here. Because you talk to Toad, he goes, So that who again? That's who because it. Yeah, well, I'll teach him. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. He claims, but I, I sat here for a while in my original project, like, he didn't do anything. Now, who do we have here? Some friend of those pig ones. Let me get something clear here, Landwalker. The sea is mine, see? If you want back, show some gills and make it through eight rings. Ooh. 
you know what? I should mention this as well. Galaxy one, way better for me. So you can count this one fast and go. Can I catch up, please? Yeah, apparently you can swim faster than him to be the break. Because this isn't a race. Just they swim through the eight rings. Yeah, you know, everyone knows how much we love ring gameplay. Look at Superman 64. Well, we're just swimming along. Riding the red shell to victory in this level. I don't know why I mentioned this before, but red shells actually have a higher top speed than green shells. Gold shells have the highest top speed of them all. Also, red shells have homemade, and they're just all around better. Yeah, I taught him so bad. I went through eight rings, and now he has to give me a star and play nice, because that's how the real world works. By the way, Toad, you didn't do anything. Game Mario. I was going to teach him this, but you beat me to it. Because you just stood here. Start! Alright, and... Yeah, I can do one more mission. Let's go do a mission down in the kitchen. You got a star! Going after Guppy Sea Slide Galaxy! Increasing the total star counter by a number. But that will do it for this part. Next time on Super Mario Galaxy, we will do more stuff. Thank you and good night. <laughs>